bass. Everyone wants that big, thumpy bass. Yet, laws of physics are such that bass needs space and power. The lower you go, the bigger the driver and its cabinet must be, and the more power is needed. That is why subwoofers are bigger than satellites. So, as our listening systems are becoming smaller and smaller, speaker designers are facing an old challenge. How can we make tiny speakers produce bass from their tiny woofers and cabinets? The modern answer, DSP, Digital Signal Processing. Wireless speakers, but also small phone and laptop speakers, all share a common point. They are meant to play digital audio. That's what makes it so easy to implement a DSP and manipulate the audio signal. This intelligent chip does all kinds of tricks. It adjusts audio level, it splits the audio signal into multiple frequency ranges so that the tweeter and the subwoofer operate within their frequency ranges. It equalizes the signal to compensate for inaccuracies in the frequency response. It matches consumer's taste, for example by boosting the bass and the eyes, etc, etc. So that's it. This secret trick is boosting the bass. Well, no, that's a trick, but not the trick. The one I am talking about in the title is Bass Harmonics Enhancement. So, what is this trick? Bass Harmonics Enhancement is no simple EQ move. It consists in creating upper harmonics of frequencies that the speaker cannot play well or at all, those frequencies being the bass. For some psychoacoustic reasons, hearing the upper harmonics of bass tricks our brain into thinking the original low frequencies are there when really they are not. By using those newly created frequencies instead of the lower ones, the speakers are spared from some heavy duty. Let's dive in with the first example. Of course, the trick has its limits. First, those newly created frequencies add up to the existing ones in the high bass and low mid region, making the signal muddy and unclear. Secondly, the trick misses one important thing about bass. They are more felt than heard. Removing those original lower frequencies, we don't feel the bass vibrating in our body. It makes the experience quite different and certainly less fun. Let's hear another example, this time with some music. So that's it, that's one of those secret tricks that digital compact speakers use to go beyond their inherent limits. There are other tricks of course, and if you don't want to miss them, well make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!